Greetings everyone from David Gillespie here in South Carolina. I just wanted to announce this latest video in our series on replacing the top. Uh, today I'll be showing how I replaced the windshield and replaced the visor and buttoned it up to seal it tight from water. So if this is the kind of material that you enjoy, please consider subscribing and liking it. That helps the channel out. Okay, part of the main thing about putting the top on is to making sure that we seal up all the places that water can get in. Uh, as with anything, we're trying to keep uh, water out. Water is the enemy, so to speak. So replacing the, uh, the little flange here out of rubber and everything. So today we'll be talking about how to keep the enemy water out of your Model A. In preparation to replace the header cap now, I went and put friction tape all along the front and undersides where it wraps around to hopefully eliminate any squeak sounds. For some reason at this point, I forgot to videotape the installation of this header cap here. But what I did was I put the, um, the screws underneath and I pre-drilled pilot holes for each of them and uh it was a little tricky i had to go back and forth but i used this blue um uh, clamp as you see at the top here to hold it in place while i was putting the first piece in the first screw in the middle and then i just kind of worked it out from each side and um, it worked out pretty good but as you can see i've got about a quarter an inch gap up at the top extra of wood which was perfect enough for the gasket, which you'll see coming up in just a minute here. Okay, so now that the windshield is painted and looks a lot better, it's left to put this uh, gasket material down here around these three sides here. So in order to do that, I'm under the understanding that this bead goes inside the channel and you slide it in from the ends, kind of like that right there. So, like that. And that, that channel needs to be cleaned out really, really good. So far, so good. I'm just using uh, needle nose pliers to kind of pull it through the track there from one end. Wow, that's like the first thing I've ever done on the Model A restoration that actually worked. The first time, shocking as it may be, hallelujah. Okay, so now on this corner here, I'm almost just with one hand pushing that in, just like so. I cut that one on an angle. There's a nut up here that goes through the windshield that's gonna keep me from going all the way to the top, but I'm assuming by that point, we're gonna already be underneath the visor so much, and it's not gonna be that big a deal, I hope. Okay, so there's the corners right there. Next, these side caps here again. All I did was set it in place and make sure that these finger joints don't scrub or scratch, that they fit. And then I went ahead on mine and went ahead and put this bolt in here to kind of hold it in place. And I have an alignment issue on my car, which is a pain, but... Um, I'm hoping that I can work some of that out with the placement of these screw nails. These are the screw nails that you want to use for that project, or at least that's what I used. That's what was recommended to me. And I bought these from Smith & Jones Model A Parts in Columbia, South Carolina. Okay, so underneath here, these holes are the ones for the screw nails. And they go in through both this metal and this piece of metal, there's a hole. I just pre-drilled me a little tiny hole, just maybe an eighth, a quarter up in there, and I hammer the rest on. Finish this with a, uh, a nail set. Okay, so now, 
have both of the side caps on and ready to install the bows okay so now i've been able to after i got these side caps on just go back one at a time and place these roof ribs in place and then to make sure that the nut and the bolt are below the flush surface so i have to just take and grind them off and then this one sits down in this metal channel here with three three quarter inch wood screws and then i put some of that anti-friction tape in there to keep this from squeaking in theory at least okay the next item up for bids on the price is right is taking this clamp here that's sensitive to the paint and putting these screw nails into these holes in between the channel here now i made a mistake and used unseasoned wood and i've got quite a gap so don't make the mistake that i did please make sure that your wood comes all the way up to touch this outer portion here otherwise i'm going to roll with it because i don't got much of a choice so learn from my mistakes if you please there's one of them there Okay, so I'm going to do a little pilot hole to start with. Not much of a pilot hole, just enough to get it started. And then put the screw nail in. And using my great-great-grandpa's ball-peen hammer, get it so far, and then finish it with the finish nail. Nail it. Just like that. Next, I need to nail this header cap to the header itself, but first, I've got to place this welting behind it. I'm using the same welting that I used on the cowl of the, uh, the gas tank. So I'm just taking and cutting it with a pair of scissors about every inch toward the end. And I'm going to take and just kind of bend it around the top of that there so that that fits down behind it and then tack it up into position, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to take a little rubber clamp and just squeeze this thing together. Get that bead running good and do me a sixteenth of an inch pilot hole there and get my first tack started. Time to reinstall this windshield here so I'll show you how I did it step number one is throw an old blanket over top of your cow that cannot be stressed enough unless you like a scratched and rusty okay okay so then I just set the windshield up on top of the the cow on that blanket propped it up against the roof and then I used I went ahead and drilled my first pilot hole so I've actually just got one screw in there and I've actually got it all the way up in there now. So now I can see how it flexes open and shut. Then I can use those openings of the screws to give me pilot holes for the rest of the nine screws. Okay, so now that I've got it in the position by the one screw, my drill is so long that I can't get it in there to drill the rest of them. So. I'm going to go in with a white pencil here and in the holes I'm just going to make a little dot so that when I take the windshield back out I can then 
see where to drill my next series of holes because I don't want to miss, so to speak. Okay, so MAFCA member and Les Andrews of Australia, Stephen Reed, suggested to me that this gasket that we buy is so misshapen and so fat, you just can't put it in. I tried it, but I would have to alter it so much that it wouldn't even be worth putting on. So I'm completely abandoning the idea of using this on top of the windshield hinge. And instead, I've gone with the old tried and true friction tape there. And there's the front of the car here, the front of the windshield. And I'm putting friction tape all along it, just skipping the gaps where the holes are. And I'm going to run a, um, a bead of butyl rubber caulking down it before I squeeze it into place to act as the bead. And that way we can keep rolling. Okay, so I'm running this caulk around this thing. So I'm going completely around those screw openings. Just like that. Kind of capture the water before it gets around and goes down into the header. Uh, okay, so the name of the game, I guess, is just to get one in and then start tightening them up little by little. So right now, everything's lining up, so I just went ahead and put them in. And because it's such a dark area, I've got my little headlamp out here to help me to see a little bit better. So, praise the Lord, after five months of top wood restoration and what have you, I now have a new header installed, and the windshield has been almost fully restored, and it swings without hitting the gas cap, and it doesn't scratch the cowl, which is what it was doing last time. So that has been checked off, and we now have the new gasket. Okay, the windshield is in, installed. Okay, so now in order to get the visor on, which is the last step before putting the top on, I've been told to put some friction tape down the front here to uh, keep it from squeaking a little bit. So I've got that in place. Okay, ground has been broken. Use the pain side of the hammer to kind of flatten them out a little bit more. Next, I came along the side of the Model A, the two door, and in every one of these cracks, I put a little uh, caulking. Now, I used a urethane caulking to start with, but I think Mr. Stephen Reed of Australia, the Les Andrews of Australia, instructed me to use butyl rubber. So, I haven't got my butyl rubber in yet, but I'm going to go over this with an entire seam of butyl rubber as well. So, butyl rubber is hard to come by unless you get it on Amazon, but I'm also going to Try to run a bead of it around here as well when I get it in stock. can't find any butyl rubber. I, I found this at my local um, Advanced Auto Parts. It's 3M window weld, and it's urethane, and it's black color. So um, 
was $38 for that tube. So I recommend you don't do that. Don't make the mistake that I did. Go for the butyl rubber. I found it on walmart.com for like $9.99 a tube. And I think two tubes would be enough to do everything we need. Next, I just squeezed out a good bit of that caulk in here uh, into this area to keep the uh, water from flowing down into there. Next, I'm going to try to fill all these little slots with the caulking. And finally, put a little Gorilla Tape over these holes. And I'm going to also use it over this seam here on the top. So those are the final things that I'm, I'm going to do before I start to put the top fabric on. Uh, lastly, I'll come back with a little bead of that caulk here before I put the actual canvas on or the vinyl. But I'll do that as I'm doing that. So we're ready now to start putting the chicken wire on and get this top on this car so this will finish up this video i hope it's been a help to you thank you for watching to this point you should get a certificate thank mr stephen reed of australia the les andrews of australia as i call him for all the help with this as well as eric winnegar with the model a medic and also davin smith down at smith and jones uh, model a antique auto parts down in columbia south carolina please check out those links below in the description